So this video is gonna walk you through the Weingart mask. There's really three things we accomplished with this mask. There's filtered exhalation, there's low volume peep, and there's hands-free pre-oxygenation with peep. So here's the mask. The distal portion is a bit complex, so we're gonna walk through it. So you have a peep valve, you have a viral filter, and you have a CPAP mask. We're gonna chat about the extra parts a little later. So when your patient inhales, they're accessing the 100% FiO2 in the reservoir bag. Your patient needs to be awake enough to create enough negative pressure to overcome these two valves. You should see very slight fluctuation in the reservoir bag. It doesn't take much, but if they're not strong enough to activate these valves, you'll know pretty quickly because they won't be able to breathe. So when they exhale, that second valve closes and what you're essentially seeing here is a closed system. So the PEEP valve is essentially a pressure-based gauge that is only going to let gas pass when a certain pressure is reached in the system. Now typically the PEEP valve goes from 5 to 20, but we found that you can actually twist it further than the 5. Because it's spring-loaded, we think this will provide less than 5 of PEEP, but there's no way to know for sure. Ideally, you want to titrate up your peep slowly up to 10. I wouldn't go much higher than 10 because most lower esophageal sphincters open at around 20. All right, so when your patient is awake and spontaneously breathing, they can power that peep valve almost on their own. The exhalation should power it, but the inhalation won't have any peep. So this distal source of oxygen is not only crucial just for continuous pressure, but also for apneic oxygenation when you need to intubate them. So what you're seeing here is an apneic patient. When the airway is open, the PEEP causes recruitment and oxygenation of lung. The two things crucial to this are a tight seal and an open airway. There's no begging needed, and I promise you this patient is not breathing. You are successfully oxygenating but not ventilating these patients. If you're having difficulty maintaining a seal, for example because of a beard, you can take some muco and put that in the beard to help your seal. And you can also take a large tegaderm and cut a hole in it for the airway and put that over their face. Now you may think about putting in an OPA to facilitate the open airway, but in the days of COVID, this isn't recommended because if they're not fully paralyzed, they may cough on you. Now, it doesn't matter how you source the oxygen distal to the valve as long as there is some. So this setup is ideal for a hands-free method, but if your patient is already coming in with decreased LOC, you can use a regular cuff seal mask and put nasal prongs on. Again, as long as there is a source distal to the valve, you will be able to attain PEEP as long as you keep a tight seal. Keep in mind, because this is CPAP, your patients will likely be distressed. So if you need to, consider an anxiolytic for them. If your patient manages well on this setup, you might think about transferring them with this. Some may consider this an aerosolizing setup and ask for you to intubate them instead. The fact that the setup also needs two auction sources, this poses a logistical issue to and from the EMS rig. In our department, we've got tanks of about 680 liters of O2 when full, and that's gonna provide you with a little less than two hours running at six liters and less than 45 minutes running at 15. And finally, you do have the option of adding this port in to give nebulizers to the patient, but keep in mind that this is distal to the viral filter, so anything that comes out of that port when you open it will be unfiltered from the patient. This also adds a bit of bulk and another potential breakpoint in the circuit. The other thing to note is that both this port and the oxygen input port shouldn't be thrown out and should be sterilized to be reused. So there's your quick overview of the Weingart BVM. Thanks for listening.